Hi everybody, my name is Melissa and welcome to the Alaska Sea Life Center here in Seward, Alaska. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. Um, we are gonna uh, take a trip through our touch, touch tank. Um, so just sit back and enjoy. So. Now all the uh, sea stars that you see in the touch tank are native to Alaska, so that means that they can be found throughout the coastlines throughout Alaska. Um, now a lot of people refer to these as starfish, but they're not actually fish because fish, they have gills and scales and fins, but we don't see any of that on our starfish or sea stars. So um, sea stars, they, so fish use fins to swim around. But how do the sea stars swim around? Or how do they move around? So they actually have little tube feet that they use. You can see right now that they're um, using their tube feet to attach to the surface. Now when we have visitors visiting the uh, touch tank, we encourage them to keep their f uh, fingers moving because their two feet are actually stronger than you realize. So um, if you leave your finger there for too long, the two feet will actually stick to your fingers. So we encourage them to keep their fingers moving. So now um, in our touch tank, there's, we have a variety of different species and most of our sea stars have five arms. But you can see in our touch tank that there are some sea stars that have more than five arms. So this sea star only has five arms, but then this sea star has more than five arms. But, but for the most part, uh, sea stars, they generally have five arms. But some sea stars can have up to 40 arms. And another really cool um, adaptation that these sea stars have is that they can regenerate or regrow the arms and two feet. So that's a really, really neat adaptation that they have. Now we're going to um, talk about one specific species, and that is called the sunflower sea star. So I'm going to show you the three that we have in our touch tank. So we have one over here. We have another one right here, and then this other one. So now you can see that these sunflower sea stars, they're very colorful. So this one is orange. We have one that's more of a reddish pinkish pink color. Um, and they also have a lot of arms. So the sunflower sea star, they're one of the largest species in the world. And their arms span from tip to tip can um, be up to one meter long. And so these uh, sunflower sea stars, they can have about 16 to 24 arms. And like I said, they're really colorful. Um, they come in a variety of different colors. Now, when a, a juvenile sea star, or sun, sunflower sea star, they start out with five arms, but um, by the time they reach maturity, they can have about up to 24 arms. And not only are these uh, sea stars one of the largest sea stars, they're also one of the faster sea stars. So it looks like they're not moving right now, but they can actually move really fast. Um, these sea stars are very quick and efficient hunters. They can move um, over one meter per minute using their 15,000 tube feet.
So what do these sunflower sea stars like to eat? They, uh, they love sea urchins. They also like to eat sea cucumbers and um, snails, and they also like to eat other sea stars. So these um, sunflower sea stars are pretty, they're pretty efficient hunters. So now um, these sunflower sea stars, they, um, so they're one of the largest sea stars and they're also one of the quicker um, or faster sea stars to move. They um, also, but they don't live as long. So generally um, the average lifespan of sea stars are about 30, 35 years, but the sunflower sea stars can live up to about three to five years. So they have a pretty short lifespan. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to um, feel free to ask. And um, go ahead and uh, enjoy our sea our sea stars in our touch tank.
Lori, we saw your question about um, if the sea stars are food for other animals. Yes, um, some crabs eat them, and also our sea otters at the Sea Life Center eat them. Thanks for the question. All right, so we're gonna go through the uh, touch tank. And um, so like I said, so sea stars, they, um, they have a variety of number, number of different arms, but they also have a variety of different textures and different colors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the touch tank armor and describe how they feel. So if you can see closely that um, this sea star has uh, spikes, so it feels a lot rougher, whereas the sunflower sea star, super soft, is more squishy. And then also a really cool thing about the sea stars is at the very tip of their arms, they have eye spots. So the number of arms they have, that's the number of eye spots that they have. So the sea star has five arms, so that means that they have five eye spots. Let's count how many arms the sunflower star has. So one, two, three, four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this one has 20 arms, so that means that they have 20 eye spots. So like I said, um, when you are touching their tube feet, you want to make sure you keep your um, finger moving because they will stick to you. They're a lot stronger than you expect. And you can also see that there's different shells in here. That is their food. That's the sea star's food. So they like to eat things like clams and uh, sea urchins and sea cucumbers. Thank you for joining us on our trip to the touch tank and I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you're continuing to stay uh, safe and healthy. Okay, thank you.